let's learn how to make seamless patterns with the pattern tile tool in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. So on the canvas I have a series of illustrations that I have arranged into a cluster in the middle of the canvas. So to make a pattern come to the selection tool, let's click and drag over all these illustrations so we select them all, then go to object, pattern and make. This now takes us inside the patterns option panel, let's just press OK. And from here, the patterns panel is showing us what this pattern will look like once repeated. So we can change the tile type to a grid, bricks by row or column, or hex by rows or column. Personally, I think hex works the best for these types of patterns. So I'm going to select hex by column, and let's just command or control plus to zoom in. And from here, we're going to use a tool called the pattern tile tool. So click this button here. And now if I click or drag on the edges of the hex, you can see that it is rearranging where the pattern is repeating. And at any time I can go in with the selection tool here and I can just select these individual illustrations. And as you can see, as I shift in them up or down, the repeated pattern is changing. So I can fill in any gaps that I have. And once I'm happy with this pattern, simply click done. I come out of the patterns options. And then if I come to swatches, and if you can't find that, go to Window and Swatches. You'll see now that the pattern has saved as a swatch in my Swatches panel. Now that we're back into the main canvas, let's put this into the test. So just zoom out, grab my Selection Tool. I'm just going to move these illustrations off to the side. Let's grab my Rectangle Tool. Make sure I've got my Fill selected. And with the Swatches open, I'm going to select the pattern that I've just created. And now if I click and drag out a rectangle, you can see that my seamless pattern is being applied as a fill color. And at any time I want to make changes, if I just double click to go back into the pattern, and you can see now I'm back in pattern options, and this pattern remains fully customizable, so I can go back in with the pattern tile tool, make some changes as such, go back in with selection tool, change some of these illustrations, can even add or remove illustrations, and again, once happy, press done to come out of the pattern, my changes are saved and my pattern will adjust accordingly. And there you have it, simple seamless patterns using the pattern tile tool in Illustrator. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.